75 gallon mixed reef aquarium start off with uh, some shots of this uh, I guess electric green SPS coal um, I really like this one obviously because of the brightness of it fluorescence but in particular because it has about eight or nine shoots um, so we'll come back to that I wanted to touch on the brown algae that's on the sand bed um, usually first thing when the lights come on um, it varies is not a problem um, but something I wanted to highlight usually in the morning what I'll do is just um, stir the sand bed there's not a lot of sand in the tank I haven't added any sand and I'm not purposely taking sand out um, I did a video of the type of sand and how many pounds that I put in um, I'll do my best to link it so in the morning you know there is that brown algae um, similar to the glass I guess the glass is more filament algae uh, might be something similar on the sand bed uh, but some type of brown algae here uh, the branch in Sophastria is getting stung by the uh, red goniopora so next time I stick my hands in the tank I need to work on that rounding the corner I do my best when cleaning off the glass but I do my best not to get too close to the corners um, I have some zoas that need mounting, and I do have a SPS coral. I believe that one is purple. If it is still alive, um, it may come back to life once I put it back in the light. I believe it's a purple stag. So here's another close-up of this bright green fluorescent coral. And as you can see, um, it has, uh, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven. There's another one in the back between probably seven or so different shoots. The only challenge is if and when those Garniaporos, the two yellow ones, the red one with the yellow mouth and the purple one get as big or start to branch out, they're going to sting everything around them. So a um, couple more close-ups of uh, the branching Sophastria. You can see that the zoas are closed up due to that. Thanks for watching.